Welcome to the web tutorial using the other person or OP files in NHATS. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. We will first review what exactly is an NHATS OP, followed by what is collected for different types of OP records, and finally we will describe how the OP files are organized. What exactly is an OP? In NHATS, OP stands for an other person that is identified during the course of the NHATS interview. Information about other people mentioned during the interview is stored in a roster. When a respondent is asked to name a particular type of person, interviewers may select an individual already on the roster from the current or a prior round, or they may add a new individual. Here are some examples of NHATS OPs along with the two-letter interview section during which the OP is identified. So a proxy, for example, is identified in the IS or interview setup section. A spouse or partner and household members are identified in the household, HH, section, and children, including stepchildren, are identified in the CS section. Up to five social network members defined as people that SP talks to about important things are identified. Individuals who help with mobility, self-care, household activities, and medical activities are all identified along with up to two people who assist with transportation. If the SP cares for another person, that individual is also identified. Finally, individuals listed as contact persons for the SP are also listed as OPs. Next, what is collected for OPs? Demographic information about an OP depends on the reason they were added to the roster. For spouses or partners, for example, NHATS collects age, gender, relationship to the sample person, and education. In contrast, for children and household members, NHATS also collects marital status, number of children, and whether any children are less than age 18. A complete table with this information is available in the NHATS user guide. For OPs who are flagged as helping with one or more activity, NHATS collects the following information. Relationship to SP, whether the help is provided on a regular schedule, days and hours helped, and a derived hours per month variable, whether the helper is paid, the source of payment, and the amount of payment. Next, we will cover more information about OP files and variables. OP files have one observation per OP. Typically, an SP has multiple OPs. There are public, sensitive, and restricted OP files. Each round includes all OPs ever, for sample persons in the current round. All prior OP variables are included for convenience. Once added to the roster, OP records are not removed until the NHATS SP leaves the study. All OP variables start with OP. The next character indicates round number and remaining characters reflect the meaning of the variable. NHATS also creates variables referred to as derived variables. These will always have a D in the variable name after the survey round. The corresponding labels for each of the OP variables also follow general principles in NHATS. Labels begin with round number, followed by the instrument section and item number, and finally the item description. Just like in the variable name, the label will also clarify that the variable is derived. Most questions in NHATS are re-asked every round and do not require special labels. However, starting in round two, NHATS uses special labels in the OP file under a few circumstances. Special labels are used when variables combine information for continuing and new OP roster members, when items are collected only when a person is added to the roster, and when items are only periodically updated. For exceptions to these general principles, please see the OP section of the NHATS user guide. Update and new at the end of the variable label indicates sources were combined for the variable. The information was updated in the current round for OPs added in a prior round, and the information was collected in the current round for new OPs added in that current round. For example, information on relationship, whether an OP is in the household, gender, age, whether a child is in the household, all have the opportunity to be updated for OPs from the prior round and added for new OPs. Labels for these variables will have update and new at the end. 
When added at the end of the variable label indicates that the information was collected in the round when the OP was added. This label is used if the information has been collected once for the OP. For example, spouse's education is collected when a spouse is added to the roster and not updated thereafter. There are also a set of variables for children of NHET sample persons that are updated at replenishment or asked for the first time when a stepchild is added. Labels have not always been used consistently, but generally, starting in round 6, you will see at round number or when added at the end of these variables, where the round number is the latest replenishment round. For example, the round 9 child education variable is labeled at round 5 or when added. At the end of each round, the OP file has a set of derived variables that may assist the user in their coding decisions. These include whether the record is missing all flags, and if so, the section of the questionnaire where the OP was added, whether the record is likely a duplicate, and if so, the OP ID of the other case, and whether the OP is different, even though the ID is the same as a prior round. The OP file is organized in a long fashion with one record for each OP. Each OP record has the ID of the SP and the ID of the OP. To merge an SP file with an OP file, be sure to merge one record in the SP file to many records in the OP file using SP ID. This tutorial was produced by Men Yahoo, Sarah Patterson, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the Using the Other Person or OP Files in NHATS tutorial. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.